In this video, we're going to look at how we can use differentiation to find the equation of a tangent to a curve. Okay, uh, we're going to jump to the example here. It says find the equation of a tangent to the curve 5x squared, 5x to the power 4 minus 2x cubed plus 4 over x minus 8 at the point 258. So to do this, first thing you want to do is get your curve in normal index form. So it's almost there, just the very last bit of it, or sorry, the second last bit of it is not quite right. So the bit that says plus 4 over x, plus 4 over x, you can write as 4x to the minus 1. And then you're good to go, you're good to differentiate. So differentiate, dy by dx is going to be 20x cubed minus 6x squared minus 4x to the minus 2. Okay, um, it's it's fine to use it to get this way, but I'd probably convert it back. Or no, you know what, I think we'll just leave it in the index form. It's fine. We'll use our calculator to do this uh, just to make sure we get it right. So at the point, the point where we're looking at for is 258. So 258 means the x value is 2. We'll just say when x equals 2, your dy by dx, and we're going to show our working out. So by showing our working out, I mean showing what we're substituting in. Instead of the x, we're writing 3. So 6 times 2 squared minus 4 times 2 to the power of minus 2. Hit that in on your calculator and see what you get. And you're going to get 135. Okay, this is the gradient. Now remember, uh, if we're finding a tangent, a tangent has a general form y equals mx plus c. But we now know, so it is y is equal to, the gradient is 135, so it's 135 plus c. So how you find the c is you then have to sub in the other point that you know, which is on the tangent, is the point 258. So sub that in. So instead of writing y, you're going to write 58. And instead of writing x, you're going to write 2. And that will allow us to find the missing value c. So 135 times 2 is going to be 270 plus c. And then take the 100, sorry, take the 270 across to the other side to see what you get for your c. And when I did that, I what I got for my c was minus 212. So last line, just say tangent is. We know our m was what was it? 135. So 135x and your c is minus 210, minus 212, sorry. So your tangent is y is equal to 135x minus 210. Okay, and this question says find the equation of the tangent to the curve 2x, y is equal to 2x upon x minus 3 upon x plus 4. So the first thing we've got to do is multiply out this, uh, this curve. So we have 2x. I'm going to do the second pair of brackets, going to multiply them out to give me x squared plus 4x minus 3x minus 12 and tidy up before I multiply it again that's going to be x squared plus x minus 12 and multiply it again that's going to give me 2x cubed plus 2x squared minus 24x and if we go from here what we want to do so it's as, if, this, it's as if this question just starts here. This is your curve, and it says find the equation of your tangent to this curve at x equals 1. <clears throat> so first thing you want to do is differentiate. That's going to give you 6x squared plus 4x minus 24. And that's our differentiate or gradient function. We're good to go. So just say when x equals 1, your dy by dx is going to be equal to 6 times 1 squared plus 4 times 1 minus 24. And if you do that out on your calculator, you will get minus 22. So the story so far, we know our tangent is, uh, or we know our gradient for tangent is minus 22. What we don't know is a corresponding y value. So we know when our x value is 1, we do minus 1, we don't know our corresponding y value. So just say when x equals minus 1, y equals, and I'm going to put it into, just to show you, uh, no, I'm going to put it into this form of the equation here. So when x equals minus 1, 2 times minus 1 cubed 
plus 2 times minus 1 squared minus 24 uh, times minus 1. If you fire that into your calculator, you will get 24. So, uh, when x, so I now know when x equals minus 1, y equals 24. So we're going to look at our tangent now and see, see what we can do. The story so far of our tangent is y is equal to minus 22x <coughs> plus c. So that's from your y equals mx plus c formula, or mx plus c, y equals mx plus c equation. And then we want to then sub in the coordinate, which we now know, which is minus 1, 24. So my y value is 24. My x value is minus 1. So put that in, you're going to have 24 equals 22 plus c. So that's 24 minus 22 is equal to c. So 2 is equal to c. So your answer is your tangent is y is, uh, sorry, y is equal to minus 24x plus 2. Okay, I just worded this last example a wee bit differently. It said find the equations of the tangents to the curve. Y is equal to 3x cubed minus 3x squared plus 5, uh, which are parallel to y is equal to 3x, plus, 3x minus 1. So this thing has a gradient equal to 3. So that's really what we're doing. Okay, first of all, uh, we're going to we'll write down our equation again. It was y is equal to 3x squared, x cubed, sorry, 3x cubed minus 3x squared plus 5. And I'm going to differentiate that. If I differentiate that, I will get 9x squared minus 6x, and that's it. Okay, uh, we want this to have a gradient of 3. We've just said, so we're going to just put 3 equal to 9x squared minus 6x. Bring everything over to one side. You'll have 9x squared minus 6x minus 3. And then what we can do, what we can do is divide through by 3 to make life a little bit easier. So I'm just going to divide by 3 here. And 0 divided by 3 is 0. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So that's minus 2x. The minus 3 divided by 3 is minus 1. So we've made life a little bit easier. We can now use our sum and product to do this. My sum is minus 2, my product is minus 3, and my numbers for that would be minus 3 and 1. So rewrite your equation as 3x squared minus 3x plus x minus 1, and then factorize the first two terms completely. 3x comes outside, leaving you x minus 1, and the next two terms, 1 comes outside, leaving you x minus 1. I've got a common bracket of x minus 1 upon 3x plus 1, which means x is equal to 1, or x is equal to minus a third. OK, so it's quite a bit more difficult, this question, because we've got, we've got twice the amount of work to do, because we've got two different tangents we're going to have to find. So we've got x equals 1, and x equals minus a third, and we're going to have to work with that. So I'm going to just start with my x equals 1. So when x equals 1, my y, corresponding y value, first of all, is 3 times the 1 cubed minus 3 times 1 squared plus 5. So my y value is equal to 5. So my tangent for this one is y is equal to um, 3x plus c. Because remember, the gradient was 3. That's what we talked about earlier on. So y is equal to 3x plus c. And then we want to sub in the point 1, 5 and see what we get. So instead of y, you write 5. Instead of 3, you write, instead of x, sorry, you write 1. So that's 5 minus 3 is equal to c. So your c is equal to 2. So your tangent is 3x plus 2. I'll just put that in a box as I could easily lose it in all this working out. Okay, so we've done what we've done so far. We've differentiated. We've found the two x values where my gradient was equal to 3. And I find my tangent when x uh, my tangent when x equals one. So now we're on to looking at the harder of the two tangents. So this is when x is equal to minus one third. So on your calculator you'll be doing this. So three is equal to y is equal to three upon minus a third cubed minus three times 
minus a third and that's squared and then plus five as i said you fire that into your calculator write this line dot the line i've just put down you write it down but then you put that all into your calculator and when i did i got four and five ninths okay so the story so far my tangent is y is equal to 3x plus c and then we want to sub in the point which is minus a third four and five ninths so that means four and five ninths is equal to three times minus a third minus minus one not minus one that's nonsense plus that's plus my c uh, change out the plus c there sorry that's plus c and then just bring that across that's going to be four and five ninths that's going to be then plus one is going to be equal to c so your c is equal to five and five ninths so your answer for your second tangent is y is equal to three x plus five and five ninths okay folks you're now ready to do exercise seven deep